Hi Rubble, with the arrival of the V43 update, the obligation to log in with a Facebook account to use the Quest 2 headset lapses. In fact, now it will be mandatory to have a Meta account, so no shit has changed. But how do you go about switching from Facebook to Meta or to create your Meta Horizon account? I tell you in this video. These days you should have received an email with this message. If you don't want to waste time reading, just follow this video and everything will be easier. Click on the link in the email and you will be redirected to a page that asks you whether to log in with your Facebook or Oculus account. If you have activated the headset for about a year, you should not even have the Oculus account. In any case, choose to log in with the Facebook one. If you have saved your login information, you should direct see Meta's request to access your account. Otherwise, enter your Facebook account username and password and then click on continue. The next screen is the first real setup page for your new Meta account. Here you are shown your email used to log in into Facebook. Click on next and continue. The second screen is the one that allows you to unlink your Meta account from the Facebook One. Here you have two options. Choose to merge the Meta account with the Facebook One and then basically leave everything as it always been. Or continue setting up your Meta account without Facebook. I don't give a shit about privacy and various bullshit, I have nothing to hide and on my Facebook profile there is practically nothing. Also, I don't want to dwell on filling in forms and various bullshit, so nothing changes. And therefore, I choose to configure with Facebook and close the matter in just few steps. If, in the other hand, you want to create a meta account that is not linked to the Facebook one, click on continue without Facebook, but absolutely nothing changes, because the same procedure you follow it and the same information you enter it when you created your Facebook account, you will be required for the the creation of your new Meta account. If you choose to continue with Facebook, the scenario will not change. You will always receive the suggestions from friends and accounts, personalized ads based on your interest and your privacy will continue to be in the same conditions as those who choose to continue without the Facebook account. On the next screen, a summary of your profile information is done. All you have to do is click on complete account setup and remember that in this case your username and password are the same as those you use to log in into Facebook. Once this is done, your Oculus profile, which even if you have never configured it, was already intrinsic to the Facebook one when you activated your headset, becomes a Horizon profile. Here you can decide whether to show yourself to the others with your Facebook name or your Oculus name name, which will now be your horizon name. I choose my Oculus name. On the next screen you can enter another name, this time is that of the Horizon profile. Unfortunately no numbers are accepted and therefore I had to change it. Once this is done your friends will pass from Oculus to Horizon who will no longer be friends but followers. On the next screen you can choose the privacy level in VR. You can choose between open to all, friends and family and just me. I hate social activities, so I choose just me, but you do as the fuck you want. Now you will be shown a summary of the setting you just choose, so click accept and continue. If you have chosen to continue with your Facebook account, the next screen asks if you want people to find you on Horizon by also searching you with your Facebook name. Activate or deactivate the option and if you decide to activate it, you can decide whether to let only friends or everyone look for you. Then click on next. The last screen will simply be a thank you for creating your meta profile, but since I was forced to do so, otherwise I would have not been able to use the headset, I would say thanks my balls. Now you will be directly redirected into the same old dashboard of your Oculus, pro uh, no sorry, of your Facebook, uh, no wait, um, your meta, no not even that one, uh, alright. 
Horizon. Yeah, oh, finally. Uh, in short, the interface is always the same, the information you can manage is always the same, and you can also change the information you just entered for the creation of your new profile. Now, put on the headset, and after logging in, as usual, you are shown a screen with a code and a link to connect to from PC or mobile device. Remove the headset and go to www.meta.com slash device where you will need to enter the code that is shown into the headset. At the end of this procedure, your headset will be linked to your Meta account and you will be able to use it again without problems. Don't worry, it's just a name and logo change. Your headset will work as usually and your games are still there, but now Mark is happier. I hope this video was useful for you. Let me know in the comments what you think about this transition. Thank you for watching completely the video. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell. From Benitzol, see you to the next one. And see you in VR. Ciao ragazzi.